Good morning everybody. Welcome back. Now let us see how to analyze a plain truss. Let us go for a new project. Select truss and rename the project as analysis of plain truss. Unit, length, unit of length will be meter and force will be kilo newton as usual. Click on next. Now click on open structural wizard. Open structural wizard will help us to extract the model which is already been in database. Click on finish. Now we can see structural wizard is open and we can see different models available in the database so we can select any of the truss which is to be designed so let us go for a Hawaii roof truss click on the Hawaii roof truss now we will have to give the dimensions of the roof truss take a length as 10 meter height of the roof truss be 2 meter and width will be zero because in width of our direction we are not going to construct any give any members so number of bays along the length let us assume it as four number of bays along width is zero because we have not given any width dimension in the data click on apply so this is how we have we have got the truss model. Now, this model we need to shift it onto the STAD file. So, to do that, click on edit and add paste model in STAD Pro. Click on this option. So, yes. Now, click on OK. Now, we can see the model is created on the STAD Pro. Now the next step is to assign the property members and support condition. Click on property page. When you click on property page, we need to first specify what which member we are going to use. This is a steel structure. So we will be extracting the data or member from the selection database only. Click on selection database. So now we have a different members from a different country. So let us go for India and in India we have different shape of a member like S shape, shape, I shape, M shape, W, T, channel, angle, tube and pipe. So all these shapes and the sizes will be based on the IS code provided by the country. Now let us go for an angle and select let us go for 70 by by 75 by 6 or 8 so let's click on 8 give add now let us select one more member 100 by 100 by 8 add now the members have been specified close the window now these members should be assigned for the structure now click on this so select the members to which we have to assign the property now the larger section 100 by 100 we will assign it to the tie beam so click on assign now you can see the second Refer, uh, second member with the reference number R2 is assigned to the type beam. Now click on first one and select the remaining members. Click on assign to selected beam assign. Now you can see all the properties has been assigned for the member 
close the window. Now the next step is to assign the support. To assign the support, we need to first specify the support. Now let us go for creating the support. Click on create. Now we will go for pinned support. So pin support add. Select the support, then select the node where we have to assign the support. So we will be assigning the support at the corners, the end corners. Select, select to assign to selected node, then assign. Close the window. This is how we will assign the support for the member.